Hello and uh, welcome to another webinar from Planeik. Today I am um, not alone. Today, uh, my Master of Arts, Mr. Reinhard Uhl, is joining me, a former colleague of mine from uh, the Conservatory in Graz. And uh, today's topic is teaching the ambipoly. So, um, Reinhard, I invited him to uh, explain a little bit his experiences. So we do this conversation uh, in German and in English. And uh, Reinhard has uh, uh, two years experience now in teaching with the Ambipoli Read. And uh, that's why I welcome you. So uh, to, ex to join a little bit and to explain um, the community about the advantages of the Ambipoli Read. Now, um, yes, Reinhard is um, my former colleague of uh, the conservatory in Graz and the conservatory is a superior um, music institute where young people in the age of uh, 9, 10, 11, up to 18, 19, 20 uh, learn the instrument in our special um, situation, the clarinet and the saxophone. And uh, Reinhard is also teaching in a music school. And uh, he is also uh, giving the um, teacher's uh, practice to the students of our university. So all the students who become uh, uh, professional artists, uh, they have to join uh, Reinhard and uh, learn the teachings training uh, with him. And so Reinhard has a very, very large experience now in music and in teaching and uh, yes he is exclusively uh, using the ambipoly read for his students uh, for his um, teachings and also for all his performances so um, i welcome him now and uh, let's have a little conversation about the advantages of the ambipoly so first of all uh, you teach the clarinet and you teach um, Yes, the saxophone, the saxophone in music school, the clarinet on the conservatory. Um, what are your experiences so far? What are the advantages of the Ambipoli? Ich kann auf Deutsch, das heißt, ich darf auch mal alle I translate, I translate uh, yes, we welcome you. Yeah. Genau. Also die größten Vorteile liegen für mich eigentlich im Arbeiten daran, dass ich jetzt eigentlich spielen kann, musizieren kann und nichts die Zeit, die Hälfte der Zeit oder weniger Zeit eigentlich verwende, um ein gutes Blatt zu finden, eine Anpassung zu finden an das Mundstück, sondern es ist jetzt eigentlich möglich, die Zeit, die mir bleibt fürs Unterrichten zu nutzen, um Musik zu machen. Okay, so the most important part is that his, it is a shortcut in a way that uh, he has to find reads for himself and for uh, the students and so the, the students practice more and uh, this time is very, very um, Yes, uh, expensive time in a way in uh, teaching lessons and so uh, every shortcut of course and uh, everything what helps to get uh, a quick success with uh, the students is of course an advantage. So that's uh, Reinhardt's experience and what do you recommend for uh, the teachers and for your students in a way? Which, uh, yes, which material? Was ich einfordere in dem Fall, vielleicht ist Material. Uh, es muss im Unterricht, es muss funktionieren. Das heißt, es muss, es muss so funktionieren, dass wir musizieren können. Und jetzt läuft es zurück. Der größte Vorteil, den, dass ich als Feedback bekomme von meinen Schülern, Studenten, ist auch, dass sie auch beim Spielen zu Hause sofort ein Glücksgefühl haben, weil es gut klingt. Mhm. Und das ist eigentlich der größte Vorteil. Das heißt, das Suchen im Unterricht und auch zu Hause natürlich ist in dem Fall äh, nicht mehr nötig. Okay, so the biggest advantage is that... Uh the feedback of the students so that they are just happy that they can play and that they practice and that they are uh, yes that they have a reliable system where um, all the daily work uh, with the instrument is more easier and so this benefit of course is uh, a big advantage for Reinhardt in his teachings and he recommends uh, as I know uh, the Ambipoli now since uh, two years And he had uh, a lot of success, by the way. So he is well known in Austria as a teacher because, um, yes, you won a lot of national competitions with your 
students. So in Austria we have uh, competitions every two years, first in our countries and then the best ones they have uh, the competitions in um, the uh, national competitions and uh, Reinhardt had a lot of students who won those competitions and we show now a little video from uh, his students with an ensemble, he's doing also ensemble work and so let's see how the ambipoly works on stage. Alle haben meinen schönen Ton gelobt. Jetzt kann ich mich endlich voll auf die Musik konzentrieren. Mit dem Mouthpiece macht Granette spielen wieder richtig Spaß. Good. So you saw um, now the young guys on stage who won the national competition several times, by the way. And uh, for your personal teachings in your class, so you have uh, your Nomos Alpha, yeah, this is uh, the Nomos, so the same mouse piece as uh, Wenzel plays now and uh, many others and you play on it the Ambipoli German Cut Reed. So uh, how is that doing, Reinhard? Also, es klingt wunderbar. Das heißt, ich habe jetzt hier ein, wie gesagt, ein Nomos und mit der Stärke dreieinhalb und am besten ich zeige euch, wie das klingt. Okay, so um, it works. You take your clarinet in your teaching and the clarinet is on the side and whenever a student needs help, then uh, you are always ready to play. That's it, isn't it? Das ist eigentlich im Großen und Ganzen eigentlich der größte Vorteil, dass wir als Lehrer neben dem Erklären das Instrument sofort anfassen können und eigentlich das Musikbeispiel gleich abrufen können, ohne jetzt das Blatt runterzunehmen, zu befeuchten, wieder Zeit vergehen zu lassen, sondern wir können angreifen, reinblasen und es klingt sofort. So when the ambipoly once is wet then uh, it works immediately and this is a big advantage. So you just take your instrument and you play and uh, whenever the student needs help or if you just show something in the in the teaching while you're teaching then uh, yes you uh, are always prepared professionally. So that's the, the advantage of the ambipoly. Okay. And for your students what do you recommend for the students? So we have a lot of examples now you can um, we can't show all of those examples, but we brought one of your uh, last um, performance with your students. And so all the whole class is playing the Ambipoli on uh, which material? This is ganz unterschiedlich. Also die meisten bei mir spielen eigentlich das Mouthpiece mit Stück. Aber die jetzt schon weiter blicken und vielleicht auch noch größere oder noch mehr einfordern, ist auch das Nomos ein wunderbares Beispiel, was funktioniert. Das heißt, wir haben eigentlich beide Systeme in Gebrauch und die werden auch beide gespielt. Okay, can you show the, the, the mouthpiece? Uh, okay, Reinhard says that he has both uh, systems in his um, teachings. So the Nomos, which is running around with, uh, going around with the, the German cut read. Mm -hmm. And he has also uh, the mouthpiece, which is a special edition of Plenik. Uh, for the French uh, ambipoly reads and so also with the French ambipoly reads he is recommending uh, the French cut for his students with uh, this mouse piece and uh, the mouse piece has the advantage that it's easier to play it has not so much resistance but nevertheless because of the geometry of the mouse piece it gives a very beautiful sound and uh, now we have a little example of uh, one of his youngest students and you can see this girl on stage, uh, 11 years old, and uh, just enjoy. Julia.
Okay, so that was Julia with 11 years and uh, great performance. So you see how the young talents benefit from uh, a stable system and uh, how they get even self-estimated just because they can trust in their clarinet and in their read and in their combination. And so um, would you say the, uh, the benefits are that the young people learn quicker and that they learn more profound than before with the wooden reads? Of all the fälle. Of all the... Das heißt, sie haben jetzt ja wirklich viel mehr Möglichkeiten, mit diesem Material was wir zu machen. Das heißt, sie können das umsetzen, was sie wirklich auch spüren und was ich auch ihnen an Informationen weitergebe. Früher sind wir oft daran gescheitert, dass viele Sachen nicht möglich waren, in der Dynamik im zurückgehen, im lauter werden, äh, im Artikulieren, im Verändern des Tonmaterials, das heißt mit Effekten auch, die wir auch gerne bei der Klarinette verwenden. Und das ist mit dem Material einfach viel, viel leichter. Okay, so a quick translation of that, what Reinhard uh, tells us, that means that uh, students can uh, easier and quicker uh, do that what the teacher says. So uh, the articulation and uh, the dynamics and uh, the sound quality, everything uh, what you try to, um, yes, bring in in the education uh, is then easier able from the young people because they just try to realize it and they don't have material problems. Okay, now we have uh, the, the mouse piece here. So can you also show us a little bit the mouse piece? That's what you recommend for the students here in Austria on your conservatory and in the music, music school, isn't it? Ganz richtig. Vor allem, okay. vor allem für diese, die jetzt ganz frisch beginnen bei mir und auch im Größeren, also ist das Mouse Piece eigentlich top. Klingt super, klingt von Anfang an gut, auch mit kleinen, leichteren Blättern und ist nachher auch im professionellen Bereich gut zu spielen. Das okay. So the Mouse Piece is a very easy Mouse Piece. It is, is yeah, fantastic for beginners also, so because it has very less resistance, nevertheless a good sound. And so uh, if people start uh, in learning the clarinet, then this is uh, a very good information for you that because uh, here the students, they learn very quick uh, without having this resistance and nevertheless a good sound. Okay, let's have uh, an example. Mm -hmm. Das gleiche Stück, oder? Ja, yeah, same piece. Yeah, good, you did this Klatzmer piece because here you can see uh, that the mouse piece is very easy to blow if you can do all those articulations. And for teaching, of course, that is uh, a big benefit if the students get something which is playing easy and very easily. And then, uh, yeah, they have uh, immediately this progress and the feedback and the result they want to. And although it is a very easy combination, it is very, very centered in the sound and uh, yeah just with a little breath it reacts and it starts and this is that what you recommend for the young students young also for the young and also for the older also for the elder ones and even for the wind bands and so uh, now we show a very short video of a wind band where uh, Reinhard is also doing sometimes uh, education and giving classes and master classes and uh, also here the people benefit from the mouse piece in combination with the ambipoly reed. Okay, some uh, insights from our Austrian wind band tradition and the work here with the clarinets and the amateurs there and how they benefit from uh, the mouse piece and the ambipoly reeds. Now, as you can see, Reinhardt is not only doing uh, the clarinet on the Superior College here in Graz on the conservatory and uh, also training the young students in uh, the teaching practice he is also in a music school 
and uh, here he is there he is teaching the very beginners also but the amateurs the ambitious ones from the wind bands uh, they come to him and uh, want to learn also the saxophone and here now first time uh, he is doing this work since two years on our new Lemuria that's the mouthpiece for the classical saxophone and as well as those ambipoly reeds for the saxes this is now a classical reed and this is that what you recommend and uh, how is that done? Das klingt super das ist eigentlich für die Schüler optimal zum führen erstens ist es uh, unkompliziert leicht zu handhaben auch nicht zu so groß verletzbar und ich verwende es von den kleineren Schülern her bis zu den größeren, die schon zu Wettbewerben fahren und eigentlich dort auch schon größere Erfolge eingespielt haben. Okay, so um, it's very simple to use because it's uh, not so complicated and he's using it for um, the little ones as well as to the elder ones who also go to competitions and uh, the system with the classical reed and the Lemuria makes a very classical and velvet and round sound and uh, we will have uh, uh, an example uh, of this, but first Reinhard, just show us the Liburia with uh, the Ambipoly Classic Read. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Lemuria with the, the Ambipoly classic read. And now, what you probably don't know, and this is something what, what we want to show you also, is that we don't have only uh, the classic read for the Lemuria, we have also a jazz read. And uh, the jazz read is totally different because it makes a totally different sound. And the big advantage is if you play the Lemuria, and Reinhardt will show you now as S the same as he is doing in his teachings and you need a little bit more this popular sound so a little bit more brighter sound a little bit more um, yes modern sound let us say and it's not jazzy by the way but a little bit yes more fancy sound then you can do this very easy so you take the Lemuria and uh, you change uh, from the classical read to the jazz read and now the same piece yeah, with the jazz read and you will immediately hear that uh, that's a different sound picture. This is exactly the same what we showed you now on this clip so when the students have uh, the Lemuria and they have the classic read and they have uh, the Ambipoly jazz read then they have a much more variety in color and in sound color and uh, this uh, is now the same classical mouse piece but with the jazz read it immediately has a little bit more punch. jazz saxophone if you change now from a classical saxophone mouthpiece to uh, the a jazz mouthpiece so this is uh, what's yeah. same read of course yeah so if you change now what, what are you using here what's that this is an gotsu 
Okay, so now that's the Gotsu mouthpiece, yeah? the jazz mouthpiece, in comparison to the Lemuria. And now you can hear with the same reeds. Yeah? So the same reeds of the Lemuria, the classic reed and the jazz reed, how they work on the Gotsu. And of course, that's now not a classical sound, it's a jazz sound, but both reeds work. And so this is a big advantage for the students because with uh, just a few equipment, yeah? they can really have a large variety of sound characteristics. Yeah, so same read, same classic read, but the jazz mouthpiece and immediately you can play the saxophone at its best. You can play it in the classical mode. You can play it a little bit more poppy, a little bit more fancy, and then you can go to the jazz uh, department in a way and you have uh, the whole variety again with the jazz mouthpiece. And this is the advantage of the Ambipoli also for the students. With uh, less effort, they get a lot of reward. Yeah. And um, let's go back to the clarinet. So um, in the moment we have, yeah, a lot of troubles with the Corona crisis and with uh, the, yeah, the online teaching. So in the meantime, I think you already teach online again because the schools are closed. And so for online teaching, this is also a big advantage if your students have a good material. And uh, we'll show you now a clip from uh, the Zoom online class of Reinhardt, uh, where he is doing the online teaching and enjoy that his students have a working system on the other side. Uh, just uh, have, a, have a look at this. Okay, now we are back again and uh, you saw now uh, the advantages in online teaching with the Ambipoli and uh, how this can work if the students have no connection anymore to the teacher because uh, yes, we are separated and uh, we have to teach online from home and this homeschooling now is becoming more and more common just because of the crisis and uh, everyone who has uh, yes his students on the other side and they are able to play then um, they are also willing to practice and enjoy as good as possible in this uh, crazy times also music from at home good so let's um, go back to the clarinet again and Reinhardt is not only a teacher on the conservatory and uh, is doing his teachings uh, for the university and for wing bands. He is also, of course, a professional artist and he has his uh, Mischwerk, it is called, uh, a special ensemble where he is on stage all the time if concerts are allowed. And uh, also here we want to tell you that from the G clarinet to the basset horn to the all variations of clarinet and saxophone, he's playing now the Ambipoli full professional and uh, this is that what yeah 
is the big advantage. He can change the instruments from the saxophone to the clarinet immediately and they work. Just a little piece now, again from the classic side to close this cycle. Um, again, the mouthpiece with the ambipoly French reed. <laughs> So, beginning of uh, the Weber concert from Reinhardt, so he is a professional in the classical part, in the uh, teaching part and of course on stage. And so, um, thank you for joining us, thank you for this uh, little insight and uh, next time I will come back with uh, the whole saxes in special and I'll do also a little a masterclass or a webinar on preparing the ambipoly reads. So hopefully you join me again and thanks for today and yes, have a nice time. Bye bye.